if you noticed, so in talking about how humans innately want to create out groups and in groups and and find other people to you know not like, there was a trend for a very long time in the in the nineties and the two thousands of aliens coming in attacking. Now, obviously, a huge part of that movement in Hollywood and the movies that that came out around it, you you might remember, especially like Independence Day was just that you know hollywood's a copycat society and like aliens were just really big and so you know they're gonna make more alien movies you know and so there's that part like that hollywood is being money hungry and, and you know wanting to or robots too like even you know freaking uh like terminator aliens robots like objectively outside things hollywood's a copycat but in the 90s and 2000s we were dealing with kind of like the throes of globalism internet and you know like phones becoming really big and the world is becoming like much smaller and so there's this idea that in storytelling there became like this huge need subconsciously to create stories that in this era of of globalization where everything was becoming smaller the stories would create a common enemy to unify people because as we became more socialized towards each other, we started like disliking each other more. We got to meet new people and see their experiences, but all that did, well not all of it did, but a lot of what happened was that we just became more bigoted as a group, right? Um, whether it was Western civilization versus Eastern civilization, um, whether it was Americans against Middle Easterners, um, whether it was um, Irish people against, you know, like Brits, uh, I mean, I could go on and on and on. Um, or even again, like in community, there's, you know, tons of uh, bias and prejudice all the time. You know, like South Africa doing apartheid. There were stories that became very famous of some type of outside force that unified humanity past all of our differences to be able to fight that outside force. And again, it could be aliens, it could be robots, it could be demons, whatever it is, but it was a huge thing in the 90s and 2000s to have some type of, and a lot of the times too, there was some type of like undertone of like the government being evil as well. And again, a lot of that came from the idea of the world becoming smaller, globalization, one world government kind of fears like about that. And because those stories were being put out, they almost became like feel good stories. <laughs> Right, like, oh, humanity's still good. We could still overcome. Uh, someone's trying to attack us, but you know, like we have the ability to band together when you know, like our backs are against the walls and put aside our differences and 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 be the better people. Those movies and shows uh, usually had a multicultural cast too. Yep, most of the time there was a uh, either a kind of like a white main character and a very very close like deuteragonist who would be ethnic. A lot of the times, like black, um, or. I mean, in case of like Will Smith movies, obviously, then it was he was a black guy. But a lot of those movies, there'd be kind of like an ensemble cast where there was like obviously still clearly one person at the center of the story, but it would be like a multicultural cast in order to be able to really push home the idea of like everybody coming together um, and everybody like doing their part. And each different like group of people has like their own speciality. I, I think dealing with people who are different from you is part of growing up. Oh, yes. It is, it's a part of becoming like a fully functioning adult. And a lot of people are like, you know, they struggle with that. <laughs> Fantasy stories need orcs for the protagonist to show his killing skills without remorse. Yep, and that's a lot of the times what happens in fantasy too. There is usually some type of like objectively bad outsider force that comes in and, you know, works against humans. And in many cases, the humans work together um, or humans and human-like creatures, you know, elves, dwarves, they work together to overcome the objective evil from the outside. It is a huge thing that honestly, now we're more moving away from. Uh, we, we, in modern storytelling, have moved away from those types of depiction in large part. And now we are exploring the enemy within, to use a very loaded phrase right now. <laughs> um, a lot of our stories are about the own like tension and conflict within our in-groups in our own societies, right? The complexities of different people. And I think that's really cool. I, I think there was a place in a time, obviously, for like everybody to need to feel like they, you know, they could come together because I think global tragedies and, you know, like whether it was their man-made or not, really like left people disheartened. But I, I think there's a lot of value in being able to understand that people are multifaceted and we don't we will never have well maybe not never but we probably won't have some type of like alien to 
sway us all together. We have to do the work ourselves.